Good morning. 8.15, October 21st. Yosemite National Park here at the trailhead for Cloud's Rest. Going to do a day hike uh, to the top. About seven miles, a little over seven miles one way. 14 miles round trip, over 2,000 feet elevation gain. Gorgeous morning. A few people at the trailhead. After October 15th, no overnight parking. So weather can creep up on you any time in Yosemite. So looking forward to the, uh, the hike. It's been a while since I've been on the trail, any trail. So I'll be checking in along the way. 10 minutes into the hike and there's clouds rest. Just a gorgeous fall morning. The leaves are starting to turn. The ferns are golden yellow. Trail conditions, excellent. Uh, I passed by quite a few blowdowns, but at the end of the season, it seems like the trail crews have been able to catch up, so quite a bit of work done by them. So, just a spectacular morning, and what a great feeling to just to be walking outside and not around the subdivision. Still on the flat section, kind of lulls you in. Taking it super slow. Left the house this morning uh, about quarter after four, and you know we're at. Uh, elevation 300 so now I'm probably at elevation 8,000 so slow and steady starting to get some elevation and uh, some views absolutely spectacular day and so again I am not looking at the camera I'm looking at the steps, but just to give you an idea of the pace I'm taking. So I'm about two and a half miles into it. I am deliber deliberately going very slow. And it's enjoyable. It's a little over two hours in the hike, just under three miles. And that is clouds rest, so. Um, we're going down in the saddle a little bit, uh, and then we'll got a little flat spot in the distance. You can see Yosemite Valley. Just a gorgeous day. Just stop to look back. You see the aspens. Leaves are turning, and that is Columbia Finger, 10,200 feet. Behind there is a uh, 10,600 foot peak. Uh, so we're heading in this direction and uh, going right up here, still kind of in the saddle portion. Did drop down a few feet, uh, but this nice smooth sandy trail is very, very nice. Four and a third miles in, just over 9,000 feet in elevation. Uh, some of the clouds rest is about 9,900 feet. So in a few minutes, gonna start going up. So far the trail's been good. I am going as slow as I can. And I'm still passing people. So I'm trying to go super slow. So the elevation doesn't uh, get me. I did pass one hiker. He did a sunrise hike uh, about a mile ago. He said it was spectacular, but I need a little bit more sleep. Like I said, I left at 4.15 this morning. I needed the sleep. All right, come up on a trail intersection. Um, let's see, that's uh, Half Dome, also takes you to Sunrise. 
I like the Yosemite signs. Stop to look back. That is Mount Clark. And that is Mount Storm King. And there's Clouds Rest. And I can see some silhouettes of some folks up there. At least it looks like it. A few, four, a few more miles to go. Just check the distance at uh, 5.1 miles in from the trailhead. Another nice flat spot. And so we're about at uh, 9,500, about 500 feet vertical elevation to go. Just a slow pace up the hill. Got to concentrate on going slow, even though I want to go faster. So let's look at the views. So we're still going up. I'm not going to video while I'm walking on this stuff. And quite a few people are just uh, stopped and uh, decided to turn around. Nothing wrong with that. So I'm looking at the ground. Plenty of space to the left and to the right. But uh, the knife's edge certainly has got some folks' attention. Spectacular. I made it to the top. Yeah, yeah. good job. There's the uh, okay. Olmstead Point. And look at that. There's Snow Creek. That trail crushed me in 2013. Wow. Snow Creek. Absolutely crushing. It took out one of our members doing the JMT. There's North Dome, Half Dome, Mount Clark, and way off in the distance is Mount Lyle, and home of the Lyle Glacier. Spectacular. So that trail behind me is uh, Snow Creek. Took uh, Troop 15 up that trail July 2013. And the next day, we lost somebody. That was a tough one. Part of the shock and awe effect. Gonna hang out here for a while. Quite a few people up here. I don't know, maybe about 30, 40. Just spectacular. A little bit of lunch action going on. Just put the uh, liquid IV in the water. A couple sandwiches and the chili cheese Fritos. It's been a while since I've had that. And then of course the uh, extra virgin olive oil. Love it. The sit pad. Don't leave the trailhead without it. Gotta have the evidence. Benchmark, 1956, U.S. Geological Survey. I can see why some people stopped. The knife's edge. Don't worry, I'm not looking at the camera. But this is just way awesome. Cut off that knife's edge. For some, it uh, certainly got their attention. So, always remember, discretion is the better part of valor. And there's Tenaya Lake. That's where I parked. Homestead Point. Yeah, spectacular. So really off the uh, clouds rest proper, if you will, and you know, just back on the trail and a good trail. Um, you know, half an hour at the summit was good enough. Had my lunch, uh, electrolytes, and um, uh, and then just before I left, I started to get a, a 
twinge, just a slight twinge of a headache. So that's the signal to do an about face. But wow, what a just a spectacular day. Um, not too crowded, trail conditions perfect. And Yosemite definitely is the nation's gem. Just gotta go down. I am making a little bit better time going downhill. I purposely went as slow as possible and it worked. Um, and so now I get to enjoy this view. Back on a little bit of flat terrain, easy to walk and talk, not uh, have to focus on foot placement. So I broke out the poles, don't want to damage the knees. Um, wow, what a gorgeous lake, just enough of a breeze to keep it cool. About 60, 62 degrees. Spectacular. About at uh, mile nine on the hike. And uh, still see a couple uh, folks still making their way up. Still plenty of daylight. And this is uh, kind of a neat area here where the talus slope is and the Aspens, just the hint of yellow. Absolutely gorgeous. Last bit of uphill on the Cloud Dress Trail and just take it very slow. It's easy to hit trace of burnout, so slow. About uh, 11 and a half miles hiked. It's uh, kind of getting a lot sandier, a lot flatter. So I had an enjoyable conversation with uh, Sir Menace, who is uh, going to hike the PCT next year. So good to share stories and experiences. Great memories on that trail. So, just kind of not summing up everything just yet, but how I feel. Just a twinge of a headache. Nothing too much. I've been drinking water. Um, and, uh, you know, knees, they're they're talking to me. Um, been using the poles most of the time on the way down. And uh, I can feel my leg muscles just a, a little stiff. So I'll slow down just a little bit to work things out and just a couple more miles to go. But just what an absolutely gorgeous day. I've said it many times. And uh, I'm grateful that. Uh, Yosemite is nearby. Yosemite Valley via Snow Creek Trail, 11.6 miles. Whew. That's a tough one. Finishing up the Clouds Rest Day hike. Started at 8.15, finished at 3.15. That's seven hours. Took me four hours to get up. Took a half an hour lunch and two and a half hours to get down so great day great to be on a trail any trail uh, gorgeous weather feeling pretty good I will do some heavy drinking of water that is don't need to get any cramps so according to all trails, did over 3,000 feet of elevation gain because there was some puds. 
So, so glad to knock this out. Mile marker signing out.